What's up guys? Back again with another video. Another knife now. This is from Drop. They have officially changed their name now. Um, originally it was Mass Drop. Uh, you guys might see my other review about the um, Ferrum Forge Mass Drop. This guy right here. This is the Falcon. This one we have here is going to be the Buck, but um, the Falcon was still around when Mass Drop was still named Mass Drop. So you can see there. It's a little bit on there. Uh, I'm not sure what will be in the logo with this new blade that we have opening up. We have ourselves the buck. So I'll be coming right here. Like a, you know, clean it up a little bit for you guys. The mass drop. So I'll also put this one next to it to compare. And also, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll add a link to it or I'll add a, a thing to it where you can click at the end to watch, okay? And I'll also post up a video, I mean, a, a link for this item right here where to purchase it, okay? So this is going to be the Ferrum Forge Buck in gray, okay? Uh, this guy comes in gray, blue, or bronze. I opted for the gray because I like the color. Um, it took me a lot of research online just to find, like, an actual color of how it looked. And I didn't. there wasn't too many videos out there with clear lighting. So um, here's one. Hopefully it will help you guys out for deciding what you guys want. Uh, open it up for the first time. This box looks a little different too. Um, the mash shop version for the uh, Firm Forge Falcon had mash shop on it, I think. And the back part of it was actually all black. And uh, it had a, a little outline of the knife. Anyways, um, this guy took me a very long time to get. I ordered it online and I think it took like a month maybe. To get shipped out of uh, China. <clears throat> so here go the case. Uh, I believe these guys are designed by. Obviously, it's designed by Firm Forge because it's Firm Forge. But um, I believe they're made in China out of Wii knives or Wii manufacturing. And we have some knives. Uh, also, Civivi is one of their sistering companies. I will have some stuff to compare it to for you guys. And opening for the first time. Let's check it out. Some packets. Do not eat, obviously, guys. Don't eat that. Do not attempt to eat. Uh, drop. Uh, again, the uh, the Falcon came with a mass drop on it. Same exact case. Drive my hands off for the buck. <clears throat> so this is titanium. Let's leave that out. We can wipe down the blade with it. So that's titanium, and it's in the blue. Looks very nice. Well, you guys can see that. Uh, that's a nice coloring right there. Very feels a lot lighter than the uh, the Falcon. Very, very stiff. This guy's not coming out. Oh man, that's super stiff. I'll probably have to loosen that up. And here go the new logo for it. Drop. This guy also comes in uh, S35VN. I don't know how clearly you guys can see that. It's in very small lettering right there. S35VN. And now designed. By Fear and Forge, I believe that's their logo. Here's Drop. This blade has a lot cleaner look than the Falcon. Not a lot of uh, stampage and all that on there, which is nice. I think I'm sure it's laser etched on. But yeah, looks good. I really love the blade shape for this. Um, it was one of the things that really attracted me when I tried to buy this. Um, I actually purchased this before the, the Falcon, but the Falcon ended up coming first. I think the Falcon shipped out of like California somewhere or, or New York or something like that. And then this came from Asia, so it took a lot longer. But happy. Um, got these guys a couple days apart. Feels really good in the hand. Very stiff earlier. It could be because I was holding on to the frame. I noticed for the, uh, the Falcon, when I'm holding it, my fingers are touching the lock part right here. It actually uh, puts some resistance on the blade, so it takes it's a lot harder to come out. So let's try holding it here and see if it's easier. Oh man, that's super stiff. I'm gonna have to loosen that up a little bit. 
but yeah, uh, comes tight, obviously. So it comes slipping into your hand. Um, ooh, look at that. Okay. So let's compare it to the Falcon. I've since oiled this guy, so it's coming out a little nicer. Definitely size difference right there. Uh, I believe this guy's six inches, and I think this guy's seven and a half, I think. Oh, 7.8. And I'll measure it for you soon. And here we have a Wii knife. This guy is, you know, Wii knife, so I think they're all made from the same factory, probably. Have it up there for size wise, you guys can see. And then we have a Civivi here. This is a full size knife, eight and a half. And one of my favorites, it's the Elementum. Uh, I do have another one of these on the way, so stay tuned for that one. Let's see where this guy can put it. For comparison, comparing here. So yeah, overall, very nice. So for the Wii Banter, about a little bit um, close to six and a half. This guy is six and a half, a little over six and a half for the uh, the Falcon, and then for the Elementum's under seven. The Buck here is. A little bit over seven and a half, close to eight, and then this guy is pushing eight and a half for the um, Praxis. And then we'll come in with the measuring. Put these guys away so you guys can take a peek at. I'm just gonna leave these two out for you guys to uh, compare to. I love this guy. If you guys haven't seen the video for this, it's awesome. Uh, they just came back in stock, the banter, and then it sold out again. Uh, it was through Blade HQ. I think that's probably the only place you can buy it. But yeah, the uh, this the titanium feels the same to me. Um, pretty stiff here. Actually, no, this is not as stiff as the uh, the Falcon. But the lockup looks good. Blade drops very nice. I'm not sure if it's just me. You know, this part is super tight. Yeah, there you go. I really like how thin it is, the profile of it, the blade. It's almost like a, a butcher blade, I guess. But I think it's called a wine cliff. I'm not sure, actually. Let me double track, sorry. Knocked into my little camera there. I think it's called a wine cliff blade. I'm not sure. I could be wrong, guys. Um, if I figure it out, I'll put it under the bottom, under the text. But the blade type looking at their site does not say um but today is the 27th july and it says if you do order it this estimate to ship out on the 27th so it takes about five business days for them to get this product ready to ship out to you uh, the body is made out of titanium and the blade again is s35 vn designed by fair and forge and it has warranty through we knives I like it. Uh, I'll probably, I don't know. I, have, I think I'm going to probably try to anodize this guy first. Just because it's a little cheaper. This guy was pushing like 140 on their site, I think. And they do have a model or a version out there where um, I think uh, it's the same exact bo uh, blade. Same body. The handles, but it has like etching into it. It's like lasered. It's not, I'm not sure it's lasered in or not, but yeah, it's like a machining it looks different it looks like a i don't know how to explain it, like a circuit board or something like that when i looked at it that's what it reminded me of but for this guy uh, i really liked how the gray and the blue got worked in there um i think the blue if you were to pick the blue color uh frame it would have been gray um backspacer here and then also uh, a gray clip i'm not sure if this is titanium i think it is for the clip i know the handle is same for this guy. But yeah, uh, let's measure it for you guys to take a look at. So for the Falcon here, I keep forgetting its name. It goes for 3.6. Maybe it feels the same weight as this. I don't know. This feels lighter for some reason, but it could be, I guess it could be heavier. 
3.6, the exact same thing. Well, it's bigger in size, but it, I guess they weigh the exact same thing. The blade is a little thick. Let's see. Again, 3.6. This guy is 3.6. And for the blade, pretty centered. Oh, you have to see that there. Very centered. Same for this guy. Let me try measuring for you. I had this guy for a while. I just forgot I had it. Yeah, let's loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, but uh, this guy's pretty awesome. Let me try doing the blade for you guys now. You guys are wondering. And that's the tip. Anyways, I'm not going to try reading it out because I'm sure I'm going to get it wrong. And uh, where's some paper I could find? There you go. Probably loosen this up and I'll probably come back with another review eventually. But man, it is super stiff. There you go. Looks sharp. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's sharp. Here you guys have it. Um, got some more videos coming soon. Uh, I'll probably put one up of when I do start anodizing. Um, I did buy some stuff to start anodizing, so hopefully it comes out well. I did try with uh, some 9 volts and it didn't come out the best, so let me practice a little bit. Let's see. This was a titanium clip that came with um, my, my uh, key bar. Just messed with it a little bit and I barely did anything to it. I just did a little bit of light sanding and then after that I just used some alcohol to clean it and then threw it in some uh, baking soda water with three nine volts and this is what it came out with. But um, I'll try again and you guys will see. Um, probably start with like a, maybe the backspacer on this guy or the clip and if it comes out nice I might do the whole thing and I'll put a video if I do. But yeah, if you guys like this um, there'll be some photos put up online soon. It'll be on my Instagram, uh, M-R-I-I Toys. Again, M-R-I-I Toys. If you wait to the very end of the video, it'll have a subscribe on the top left. And in there, I'll also have my Instagram tag in case you didn't hear what I said. And I'll have a video added there for this guy up there at the end. And I'll also add a link where you guys can purchase this through Drop Site. If you do guys get it through Drop Site, you have to make sure that you are a member on their site to see the pricing. Um, if you're not a member and you go online, it's just going to show you um, a login. It's kind of like modern touch site, I guess. You can't log in unless you have a, an account or a member. So uh, log in, make an account. It's free. And then uh, I got charged this guy 140 And then um, first time purchase, you get $10 off. And I'm in California, and I did not get charged tax for that. And it was free shipping. So you guys might want to check it out. Again, um, awesome guy. And I suggest anybody who is looking for one of these, uh, check out this video. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and add me on Instagram on MRII Toys for some photos. Okay, guys? Stay sharp. Later.